Hey, come on in. Sit down. Yeah, <laughs> talking to you. Matter of fact, the ladies, y'all go ahead and have your um, bathroom break. By the time y'all come back out, I'll be ready to talk to y'all. This beginning of the conversation is going to be for the fellas. Got something to talk to them about, so y'all ladies, please excuse us. <clears throat> now, fellas, like, what, what's really good, man? What's going on? Like, I'm trying to find out what's going on with y'all. Our black women out here are feeling unprotected, yo. Yo, they feeling naked out here. And why do they feel that way around us? Come on, man, we need to do better. Like, what's, what's your relationship with your mama like? How y'all get along? Matter of fact, don't even ask, don't, don't even, uh, answer that question. Because I still got some more to say. And I ain't really trying to hear you talk right now, so just listen. Look. It's no reason that a black man should put his hand on a black woman, yo. Like, it's, it's, it's no reason. I don't care what crazy scenario you come up with, what type of extreme circumstances, uh, hypotheticals you come up with. No. Because in those extreme situations, it's always a, a build-up. You know, so it, it, it always lead up to that. It don't automatically start off that extreme. So somewhere in between that lead-up, you got to know when to exit the situation, man. Especially if you're the type to get mad and want to put your hands on something. If you don't have that self-control to go work out or hit, hit items, you know, or ask her where her brother at, ask her where her uncle at, you know, find you a man to fight or something. Yo, there's too many options out there for y'all to resort to putting your hands on black women, man. What's going, what's going What's going on? As a man, we are created to protect and provide. Protect the woman and provide a safe space for them. Now, how can you walk around here and no woman feel safe in your atmosphere? Now, how you, how you as a man can live with that, yo? Like, come on, man. Like, like that is crazy. Y'all, y'all, y'all really built wrong. <laughs> y'all boys got a little defect, for real. Cause y'all, y'all not wired right, man. Y'all not wired right at all. And I'm not saying that you can't get mad. I'm not saying that you can't speak your mind. What I'm saying is you can't slap and punch on women, yo. And for those extreme examples that a lot of people like to come up with to justify, uh, or to come up with a reason to put their hands on a woman, yo. Like I said. It, somewhere in between that build up got down you need to know when to leave cause don't get it confused yeah I preach never put your hands on a woman but I'm not telling you to be a puncher bag either I'm not I'm not saying sit there and get slapped on get punched on let them cut you and use weapons whatever they do just let them do it on you no no cause as a human you'll be fool to sit there and take all that damage and if you the type to sit there and take all that damage then yeah, eventually you will pop. And then it might, it might flip out and put your hands on. Look how much you endured before you got away. Matter of fact, <laughs> y'all boys got my nerves um, lit up for real. My nerves is bad right now, so let me calm them a little bit. If you got one, roll up. Now, like I was saying, if you ever have, if you ever catch yourself in a situation where it's getting aggressive, you getting angry to the point that you want to get physical, because I understand you're a man first. So if certain emotions get triggered, then only a certain type of uh, actions it's going to follow that, you know, cause and effect. But what I'm saying is, if you, if the situation happened to get physical before you're able to walk away, you got submissions. You know, put in a little barrier hood. You know, uh, get away from her. If she's chasing you and getting physical, you know, you might have to push her a little bit. You know, you might have to do a little push. Because I understand there's some women out there that's bigger than some men. 
There's some women out there that's stronger than some men. And there's some women that, uh, out there that could fight with, with the men. Like, I know some of them. Some of them family members. Some of them grew up in the same neighborhood. You know, it, it, those are the women that you know not to play with. So on that subject, that's just what it is. But if you find yourself in that situation, man, you got to know how to lead. You talking to a brother that done been slapped. I done, been, I done got punched in my eye, stole off on I had a crowbar to my head. I had to wrestle a knife out of a girl's hand. You know, like, I, I, done, I, done had, I done ran into some crazy women. And not only that was crazy, she one girl, she was oh, she she wasn't stronger than me, but she she was stronger than what I uh expected. <laughs> and when I had to get that whip out of her hand, it wasn't easy, goddamn. At all. I, t- I took a little slice on the hand and everything. But I didn't put my hands on. Them. And that's what y'all need to do, man. We need to create a safe space. For this, for these women out here, like for real, like it don't matter what her relationship is to you, family member, friend, little buddy with benefits, or just a stranger you see walking down the street, man. Whenever she in your presence, bro, she should never be harmed. She should feel secure. You know, she should feel like somebody got her back. If somebody want to act stupid, man. Now, come on, man. Get your mind right. Y'all see what's going on out here in the world? That Tory Lanez and Megan uh, situation. Y'all see what's going on? You got men out here shooting women, bro. Now, I'm over here preaching that it's no reason to put your hands on a woman, but it's damn sure ain't no reason for you to shoot a woman. But I'm not going to go too deep into that. No, that's for another episode. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, hold on, fellas. Hold on, fellas. I'm going to ease up on y'all a little bit. The women, the women's is coming back into the building. Hey, ladies. How y'all doing? Welcome back. Excuse the aroma. But anyways, have a seat. I got something to speak about y'all. Speak, um, speak to y'all about us. I'm about to take a sip of this cranberry. need to know when to leave these abusive relationships. Like, y'all have a gift and a curse. And that gift and the curse is loyalty. Y'all are loyal by default. And what comes with that is sometimes y'all be in a relationship uh, and you don't know when to leave. Because you trying to be loyal. You trying to make it work. You know? And it's to the point where, sis, you don't need to be trying. You need to get gone. For real. Your mental health and your physical health is in jeopardy. And you out here trying to save him. And he out here abusing you. That, that ain't right. That ain't right at all. Know when to leave. Not only knowing when, uh, and, and another thing that go with that, I don't know when to leave because some of y'all women, y'all got men in your family, friends that arrive for you. I'm talking about that that shit, the whole block down behind you. And y'all go cry to them, leaning all on their shoulder, talking about how he ain't this, he ain't doing that, he put his hands on me. And then whoever that man is, he go get active towards your boyfriend. But you don't leave. Like, y'all got the game kind of messed up, yo. Coming from me and my personal experience, I got three nieces. I'm an uncle. One of my nieces hit me up because, you know, her boyfriend put um, put hands on her. So I pulled up, correct that, corrected him, sorry. Uh... And after I corrected him, she left. That's how it's supposed to go down. 
Now, if that's the pattern, then everything good. You know what I'm saying? You you come, you meet a dude, he abusive. You tell you tell your family member, whoever you run to, he check the chis- uh, he check the situation. You move on to the next. If it happen again, get get a man to come check the situation. He go check the situation. Then you leave. But for the ones that ain't leaving, that dude ain't gonna keep checking that same dude that you not leaving, yo. And he shouldn't. That's not that's not how that work. That's not how that work at all. That that guy that you run to go end up telling you, nah, we ain't doing that. Cause you're not learning. You still stand there. Why well, I look like beating up on this man? Getting my blood pressure worked up, putting my life in uh, in jeopardy because a fight can can lead to other things if they don't know how to take that air. You feel me? Like when you go fight somebody, you got prepared to go extra miles because you don't know who you're dealing with. So you got me putting my life uh, on the line for a nigga that you can't leave alone. That's crazy. And, they, and it's not supposed to be like that. So y'all need to know when to leave. All right? And another thing, if y'all in and out all these relationships and all these goddamn relationships is abusive, it's something about you that you need to change. Yeah, I said it because in every situation it got a certain level of, of accountability. So goddamn, you gotta hold yourself accountable. What is it about you? Something that you doing, or or just how you operate, attracting all these abusive ass men? Like, come on! And then by you. Dealing with so many uh, abusive men, I know you see the signs. I know you see the signs before it actually happened. Cause you, you, you I ain't gonna say I don't want to say you used to it. I don't never want to say that. But you, 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 you familiar? You know, like you know, you know what traits come with them type men. Uh, men. So I know you see it before it happened. Come on, man, you're not that slow. I refuse to believe that you're that slow. Lord, this shit get you in trouble. One, one, one thing about uh, men and women, yo. A woman, she will stay loyal even when she don't need to. She ain't supposed to. She supposed to be in there. She still want to be loyal. Men, we not about to endure all that stuff y'all women be enduring. Hell no, nah, that shit ain't right. Motherfucker ain't getting right. We dipping. For real. And then the ones that's not really leaving they woman that's fucked up, they cheating on them, so it's like they leaving any goddamn way. Like, come on, man. Learn from us. We learn from y'all. Learn from us. Man is not, a man is not taking all that stuff that y'all take. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna check it, try to resolve it. The shit don't change. He gonna ask himself one question. Can I deal with this for the rest of my life? The answer to that question is no. He gonna dismiss himself. Period. There ain't gonna be no goddamn 30 nights and 30 days of crying to your friend, asking her for advice. What should you do? Getting beat up four or five goddamn times, getting embarrassed in front of your family and shit. Like, what man you know go through that? So why you going through that? Come on, man. You smarter than that. That's crazy. But man and woman, as a whole, yeah, we got we got we got to learn how to love each other properly, man. For real. And everything that I'm saying is not only it don't only go for like certain people. It go for all men and women, no matter they family, friends, stranger, whatever. It go for all people, yo. We gotta love each other better. And it should be evident, it should be evident that we need to love each other better because the way that we've been loving each other during these past times isn't working. That shit wrong than a motherfucker. All these damn divorces motherfucker ain't lasting out here. Come on, man. 
getting married just for money and shit on the come up. Well, who the fuck get married for a couple weeks? Or a couple months? And then divorced. And they done did it like three times. Like, come on, man. Stop playing with it. All right, man, y'all, y'all better get right. Y'all better get right, man. Y'all better learn how to love everybody, man. I ain't say take everything and be goddamn naive and all that crazy shit, but mutual respect and common courtesy. That's what it is. Mutual respect, common courtesy. If you could do both of those, man, everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. That's the bare minimum. So you telling me we out here, we can't do the bare minimum? Uh. No. That's not how it go, man. That's not how it go, yo. Motherfuckers out here can't even do the bare minimum. That's crazy. But I'm glad that I got y'all here. I hope that y'all listen, listen to understand, and not listen to respond. But I will listen to your response. You know, we can have that conversation. Meet me in the comments. Front page, front, excuse me, front porch conversations. It is me. I am him. He is me. Y'all, David Javon Anson the second, and we gone. Get your mind right. Joe.